Spirit Ghost, this is Will with another Ghost Recon Breakpoint video, and we have two sniper rifles left to review. Uh, in this video, we are doing the Scorpio. So, like all my sniper rifle review videos, we always start out with ranging at 500 meters, and let's show the equipment here, how I've got it set up. So, as you can see, got just handling and marking no range boost here and I've just got suppressor like always and T5XI it can equip a bipod but like all the others until bipod uh, we we're reviewing without the bipod uh, for now just because uh, in, at initial testing bipods didn't work I actually haven't tested to see if he, they've fixed it yet uh, today I actually haven't been able to play for the past week because of being sick again and uh, yeah so um, we are skipping bipods for sniper rifles and DMRs um, until we get through all of them on the reviews um, because the, the range inc increase you know it's a 15% boost it's pretty much fixed so anyway let's uh, let's move on to the range testing here Now, of course, at the end of the video, we'll put up a comparison chart that showcases the range and damage for all the sniper rifles. So you can see how this stacks up. And there's the bullet drop. Not great, but it could be, you know, uh, could be better. But you know what? A lot of people like this rifle, um, and we'll discuss more about it later on. So, yeah. All right. Let us move on now to the second phase of testing, which is sound detection. Uh, let's first pull off the suppressor. Reload. And we're going to find some nice fixed baddies here. Alright, good. So this area will work right here. We're going to think. 250. Alright, so yeah. Or actually, we could probably go up here. I think this one might work better just because... Oh no, that's my helicopter. Never mind. And those guys are just roamers. So, we're not going to worry about them. We're going to try and get up here. Get to where we can get line of sight, because that's an uh, important part of the standard we've been doing for our testing. But we're... Maybe a challenge to get line of sight at 200 meters. May have to run down here, and if so, then we'll probably have to switch up our targets. Oh, sorry, yeah, we're pretty close. We need to get at about 215 to start. Yeah, we're way too close. These guys might be better. Yeah, I think these guys will work better. Because I can get line of sight easier on them. Okay, so let's run back here. Now let's actually go mark a guy. Except I'm getting that stupid bug. Where I have to aim to activate my drones and stuff because it's toggled the, uh... Controls for me. All right. Oh, he's moving around a lot. I don't like that. Oh well. Let's fire. Two sixteen. No detection. Now we know compared to others, you know, it's usually within two hundred to two hundred and five meters. So I like to. Man, he is just really. He's restless. I'm gonna do a two oh eight here. Let's check to see how. Yeah, okay, we're good. No reaction. From this guy, at least. Seven, no reaction. You know what, we're gonna take these guys out real quick. Because they're just gonna 
get in my way. Actually, we're gonna take this guy out. Something's up. There we go. And of course, a drone comes. So it's 2.02. So I'm going to actually run over here. Because I think I'm going to use those guys for my close range suppress testing. So let's mark that down for this. Unsuppressed. 2.02 is where you get detected. So, like I said, that's in line with all the other testing we've done. You know what, I think we might be able to get these guys fine for testing purposes on suppressed. But, I'm actually going to switch it up to where I'm targeting. No. Twenty eight. Here they come. I saw an enemy shooter. Come on. So, I believe that was 27 uh, meters suppressed, but we'll verify that. Um, you, of course, can rewind and double check my uh, my memory, but uh, but I will just have to watch the video afterwards to find out. So, all right, next we are doing damage testing. Now this. Like range testing we've already done, we're just confirming. Um, and uh, Because originally I had a lower gear score and everything, although based on existing testing, gear score does not play a factor in testing damage against your own vehicles. So that's just something to keep in mind, which is what we're doing here. Um, now, we do know gear score does have an impact on general damage against enemies. Um, headshots will still kill, of course, but no. So, we're grabbing our landscape mark 2. Breaking camp. And we'll start damage testing. Now, like all my previous videos, uh, we want to make sure we've got the suppressor on. We do that so we can... Um, get the most amount of shots in there to accurately kind of get an idea of how close it is. Um, now for assault rifles, 
in previous testing that actually the uh, suppressor seemed to have no impact at all. Um, but we know it does for sniper rifles. So, and that's what we're testing here, so we're good. Alright, so here we go. This is the uh, Scorpio damage test. like previous testing, 10 shots to, uh, to destroy. So, alright. Now we're going to head back to the bivouac and kind of discuss what all this means and talk about the Scorpio itself and its viability. So, while we're talking, I will pull up the comparison chart so you can look at the damage and range of all the sniper rifles. There we go. So, um, Scorpio is is an interesting rifle. It's less damage and less range than the Tac 50. Um, it's not too far off on damage. It takes 10 shots with the Scorpio versus 10 uh, versus 8 on the Tac 50 and 6 on the HTI and M82. But that's um, you know, its bonuses really aren't that uh, aren't that great. It uh, I mean it has slightly higher handling and uh, and, and 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 slightly better recoil. Um, actually, let's yeah, I'm not sure. Let me double check mobility. Um, yeah, its mobility is actually worse than the TAC-50. Um, its accuracy is about the same, but really accuracy does not seem to matter that much. Um, you're also limited as to what you can equip it with. Um, you can't equip an extended magazine, you can't equip a rangefinder, and it's situations like that where the TAC-50 is really going to shine over it. And the rate of fire, I did rate of fire comparison tests. It's... It's not really that big of a difference, honestly. There is not much to justify it, in my opinion. Um... I, I guess it, it's ultimately it's still a matter of preference. It works fine for anti-personnel, um, and it's one like appreciable bonus is its reload speed over the Tac 50. It reloads much faster, but that that's not all you need. And and really the Tac 50 since it can equip an uh, extended mag, you're spending less time reloading overall, and you get more rounds before reload, so nah, I would still say stick with the DAC-50, personally. Um, there's just not a lot of use for the Scorpio, uh, relatively speaking. It's good for anti-personnel, but it's not as good as the DAC-50. And, you know, even if, even if we compare the minor differences in detection range, the, uh, uh, where's my numbers on the TAC-50 here? One sec. Well, I actually do not have those handy, it looks like. For whatever reason, my notes have disappeared on that. But, <coughs> excuse me. But really, yeah, even the TAC-50, if I remember right, it's like 25 meters suppressed. And so you're you're you've got two extra meters of play suppressed with the Tac-50, and it's about the same for unsuppressed. Really, there is no appreciable difference there. Um, 
action when you're shooting, you know, unsuppressed, uh, 200 meters, you know, just a, a few extra meters is not that big of a deal. You can usually move oh, just a couple extra feet in most cases, and even then, that's just overall detection. One guy will come looking for you, unless you're near a drone, I guess, but whatever. Um, so it's, I just can't really recommend it. Um, so that's all I've got to say on the Scorpio. Uh, we are going to do the L115A3 next, uh, which I'm actually going to record the video for that right after this one. Um, but, uh, because I want to go ahead and get them both recorded today, but I'll publish the L115A3 tomorrow, video tomorrow. Um, so, and that will be all of the sniper rifles reviewed, then we'll move on to DMRs. And DMRs are great, you know, rifles. You know, I've got a select few that I, I, I really love, and then some that I'm just like, mm, you know, but we will review them all, and there's a lot of them to review. Uh, so, um, especially with some of the, the, the Battle Crate editions. Um, so... We will cover each and every one of those, trust me. Um, now, uh, I noticed they were unlocking uh, Battle Crate rewards for everybody. So, um, because of, of, of some issues with that, uh, we'll see, uh, see what happens there. Um, like, I got in, I shot one guy, and then I got four rewards. So, that was kind of weird. I didn't do anything. Uh, any faction missions or anything like that. So, uh, maybe they'll just keep adding more and more and more as I play. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but, uh, but alright. So, um, thanks everybody for like, share, subscribe, everything else. Um, don't forget to check out my website, ClassicWFL.com. Uh, check out my art, music, photography, and more, including t-shirts for sale. And, um, and yeah, and I uh, really appreciate everything you guys do. Let me know what else you want to see in-game. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video about, you know, what to look for when you reach 250 gear score. Like, the best stats to roll on your weapons. Obviously, you know for your long-range sniper rifle, you're going to want the max range boost possible. But what else do you want? And we'll talk about that. Um, I don't know if I'll get to that video this weekend or if it will be another time. Uh, maybe next next weekend. We'll see. So, alright, Ghost, that's all I got. See you tomorrow with the L115A3 review. And if you're lucky, maybe you'll see me in Erewhon.